We've now fabricated each of the separate components that goes into your rocket. Let's take each of those components and put the whole rocket together from one end to the next. First, we have the payload section, which has a nose cone, a short section of body tube, and a bulkhead that goes at the other end with the screw eye already attached. Now, the nose cone has to go on and off because this is how you get the payload in. So it has to be a tight friction fit so the payload doesn't fall out in flight, but it doesn't get glued in place. The bulkhead that goes in the back of the payload section does get glued. And throughout the entire assembly, we're going to be using the yellow glue, which is your primary structural glue for rocket construction for paper and balsa wood. You put a line of yellow glue around the bulkhead, smooth it in, and insert the bulkhead for half of its length up into the payload section. And you set aside your completed payload section to dry. You have three or four fins that you've shaped and sanded and smoothed. Now it's time to put them onto the body tube. Once again, you use the yellow glue. You put a line of glue down the root edge of the fin, which is the flat surface that you haven't shaped, that will be attached to the body tube. That line of glue then gets placed along a line that you've already drawn on the surface of the body tube. And you hold the fin in place for about 30 seconds until the glue sets. Once the glue sets, your fin is in place, but it may fall over. And so to keep it from falling over, you take some cyanoacrylate or instant glue and put a little dot of that on each side of the fin. That stabilizes the fin while the rest of the glue dries. And you can accelerate the drying process of that instant glue with an accelerator, which comes in little spray bottles. It's used this way. You check the alignment to make sure that your fin is glued on straight, and this one is. And then you repeat this for the same steps for the other fins. You then glue in the shock cord mount, which we assembled earlier. And as discussed earlier, when you glue this in, you want to make sure that the shock cord mount is inside the body tube far enough that it doesn't interfere with the movement of the nose cone or the payload section shoulder. So you apply yellow glue to it, you stick it several inches inside the body tube, and press it firmly against the side of the body tube. Now I'll set this aside because I've already completed assembly of another rocket with all of its fins, and we'll take that rocket and insert the rest of the components. You have a completed engine mount, as shown here, to adapt a one-inch diameter rocket motor to an inch-and-a-half diameter rocket body. You apply a line of the yellow glue around your coupler system. Then you insert the coupler and the rocket mount into the body so that it's flush with the back end of the body tube, like this. That completes the assembly of the major structure of your rocket. Now you have the shock cord, and at the end of the shock cord goes your payload section. So here's the shock cord, here's the payload section. You insert the shock cord through the screw eye. You tie it tight with several knots, and then you put a, a dot of glue on those knots so that they will not come undone in flight. At least two knots, and then a dot of glue. And you take the recovery system, which in this case is a parachute, and you attach the parachute through the same screw eye, and I'll demonstrate that later. And then when you have the assembled rocket like this, you put the two parts together to make sure that it fits, and then you add the launch lug. The final step is adding the launch lug. The launch lug goes halfway between any two of your fins, and once again you have to draw a straight line on the body tube so that the launch lug is aligned with the long axis of the rocket. It's also important that the launch lug go right around the point where the rocket balances. Remember that's called the center of gravity, the balance point of the rocket in flight. You apply the launch lug as well with yellow glue. A good strong line of yellow glue down the launch lug. Attach the launch lug on this line. You have a completely assembled payload carrying model rocket ready for flight.